What your wife wants, what she needs, is only you. She doesn't need the house or the car, the flowers or the chocolates. She just needs you, the one to whom she promised forever. She needs the lover she once loved to explore endlessly into the night. Whatever it was you were back then, that's what she needs. It's what she wants, what she hopes for, dreams about, longs for. It's you. If that never was you, if you were putting on airs, pretending to be what she wanted, you need to say that out loud to yourself. Face it. Admit it. And then make a decision. Decide whether or not that's the man you want to be. Give her honesty, if nothing else. If you can remember who you were, who she loved, do what you can to find him again. Learn what it means to feel genuine love for yourself. Take time to get to know who you are. Do the work of processing where you've been, who you've been, and who you want to be. Take her along in this with you. She'll be glad to go with you if she believes you're sincere. Only after you find love in and of yourself can you fully love your wife the way she needs you to. The same is true for her. She too can't give you the love you need until she values herself without sex. Right now as I'm writing this, I have some photos open on my phone. It's a series of screenshots I've taken of some video chats with my guy. His face in them gives away moments of vulnerability. In some, he's laughing. Others, he's listening to me intentionally. And I have one in which he's drowsing off because I've talked him to sleep late in the night, but he didn't want to end the call just yet. All of these moments are precious to me because it shows how real he is. I keep them because I struggle to remember details like these due to years of trauma causing my mind to push these things away. I struggle to hold on to things even when they're important to me. But with these photos, I can remember the way he looked at me when I was telling him something personal. These moments are what come to the surface again later when he kisses me. I remember his heart when he wraps his arm around my waist and moves his kisses down my neck. His smile when he's genuinely happy is what hits my heart and makes me want to take those kisses as far as he'll go. The desire your wife has lost is found in your genuineness. Her sex drive, libido, whatever you want to call it, is found in the authenticity of your love for her. When she feels it, when she knows it and she can count on it, like the faithfulness of the ocean sending waves back to the shore. That's where your sexless marriage will find resistance. It's only in this deep knowing of your wife and her trust in your heart that you'll find her desire again. But she needs to feel it within herself first. Give her that room to find it for herself. And when she can trust you again, when she can remember who you were when you loved her, she'll come back to you. If the damage done isn't already too great.